Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, it's me Lauren and in today's video uh, I'm going to be discussing the sewing projects that I've been doing, uh, stuff that I've got planned and new sewing purchases. So first up, uh, I had my niece uh, at my house for a sleepover this week um, and we went to Hobbycraft together, we chose some fabrics, we decided on a project that we were going to make together and um, yeah, brought all of our bits and pieces, all of our trims, fabric, everything like that um, and we created our first couple of sewing projects together. So my niece has never sewn before, um, particularly using a sewing machine um, so yeah, that was really good fun and I think she did so well. So the first thing that we made was this handbag here. Um, I'm going to pop a picture in because she's uh, obviously taking it home now. But it was a little fold top handbag. Um, it was heavily supervised by myself. Um, I guided on measurements. You know, she told me the size that she sort of wanted it and we I went with those measurements, helped her to cut it out. Um, I guided the fabric through the sewing machine. I thought first time she's using a machine, I'll let her do that. Um, but she used the foot pedal and really got used to sort of adjusting the speed and making sure it wasn't going too fast. Um, and I think we'll build up her confidence. And in time, she will start using the sewing machine herself, obviously still supervised by us. Um, but that was really great. And I just felt really good um, introducing her to the sewing machine. My sister was the one that actually taught me how to use the sewing machine many years ago. Um, I was around the same age as my niece and I still vividly remember that first project. Um, we made a little bag, uh, a little drawstring bag together to put all of our Scrabble pieces in um, so that they didn't get lost. And yeah, I still remember that really vividly to this day. So hopefully it will be a similar experience for my niece. Um, the next project that we made was actually a simpler project, in my opinion, um, but my niece wanted to do this one second, um, and it was a bookmark. And again, I'll pop a picture in here. Um, the book is not my niece's, it was one of mine. Um, but yeah, it's just like a piece of ribbon um, with a piece of elastic, and it goes over the button. Um, but yeah, it was just really good fun, um, and they were nice, quick projects. We did one each day that she was here, um, so that she could really concentrate on what she was doing. And yeah, it was just really great um, to introduce somebody new to the craft of sewing. Um, so then on to stuff that I've been making myself. Um, I've been making, uh, if you've been around a little while, I've been making some caravan curtains for my sister's caravan. Um, using the old curtains that she had. Um, I didn't actually take a picture, um, but they're not fully finished. But the majority of the curtains are now done and at my sister's caravan. Um, I've just bought one back with me because I thought I'd made a mistake on it. I thought I'd put the like bit where it attaches to the like runner of the caravan, so the, the way that it attaches to a caravan. Um, I thought I'd put that on the wrong side, so I stopped what I was doing and I thought I'll wait till we go to the caravan to figure out if I've done it wrong or not, because um, then I can't remember. Went to the caravan and I had done it wrong, um, so I bought that one back. It's not too much that I need to fix, um, but yeah, I just need to basically put it on the other side. It's really weird, they're sort of like poppers that you put caravan curtains on with, or certainly in her caravan. Um, yeah, and I've just put them on the wrong side, so I need to switch that over. Um, and then just one of the curtains needed altering, um, which I think was good going out of all of them. So um, this particular curtain has poppers at the top and at the bottom because the window is on a bit of an angle. Um, you know, like the front of a caravan, the majority of them, they slope up slightly. So they fix at the top and the bottom of the curtain so that they don't hang down. Um, and oh, it fit, but it was just ever so slightly too tight and I wasn't happy with it. Um, so I've just bought that back. It literally just needs half a centimetre, probably. I'll probably do a centimetre um, just to make it fit a little bit more comfortably. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that that project is almost over with because it has been hard work. Um, it has been a pain. Um, and yeah, it was most appreciated um, from my sister. But I'm very much glad that it's over. So then uh, I introduced myself back to sewing again um, and making projects that I wanted to make and actually something really simple but it was on the top of my list um, 
was a cover for my sewing machine. Um, so I just used some scrap fabric. This one is different on the back. Um, and I did some wadding on the inside. So this will go over the top of my sewing machine. So my sewing machine will be in here. Um, and I just need to add some ribbon or something to tie it at the sides. But the reason that I didn't sew it with sides on, because I do have a sewing machine cover with sides, um, is because I then want to lay this out and put it underneath my sewing machine when I'm using it, just to try and absorb some of the sound. Um, I have a brother sewing machine, and I do find it quite noisy. Um, so I used a mat similar to this with that sewing machine um, at a sewing social um, that I went to, and I do think it made a big difference. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what I've been doing. It was just a nice, you know, under one hour project um, that was something for me and just, oh my gosh, look at my hair today, um, just reintroduced me to sewing and was something that I just really wanted to make but just hadn't been a priority when I had other stuff to do. Um, so on that note, I've then pressed some of my other fat quarters. Um, these ones here, they're from one of the previous So Haley Jane boxes that I had. Um, I still need to decide which ones I'm using, um, but they are going to be very much the same sort of cover, but for my overlocker instead. Um, I do also have this fabric. I basically just picked up some scraps and decided what I was going to do with them. Um, but yeah, so overlocker cover is definitely next on my list. Then I have some more So Holy Jane uh, fat quarters. These ones are the yoga ones that were from back last year, um, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And so I've had this project on my list since I received these fat quarters, um, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm just basically, I'm going through all of the projects that I've had on my list and just haven't got around to doing, um, but yeah, so I've pressed all of these, I pre-washed them at the time, I always pre-wash fabric as soon as I um, bring it in the house basically, so I know that it's done, it doesn't go away in the drawers until it's done, um, but yeah, so with this I'm going to make some sort of patchwork quilt slash storage bag um, for all of my sort of fitness bits and pieces. Um, so I've got some stuff at home like resistance bands and a skipping rope and some little sort of balance ball things. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a bag out of that. I'm undecided on the design at the moment. It probably will be self-drafted. I doubt that I'll buy a design for it um, because I want something that sort of suits all of my bits and pieces. But once I do make it, I'll let you know and I'll share the details um, of what I made and how I made it. And then my final thing, which is a massive, massive game changer for me. Um, I put a story up a couple of months ago, I think probably a few months ago now on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then I'll pop my details down in the, comment, uh, in the description box below. So go and give me a follow on there. Um, but I popped up a story sort of saying, does anybody use electric scissors? Um, are they worth it? Are they a bit of a gimmick? That sort of thing. And I had really good feedback from everybody. But I also put in the question box, if you do use electric scissors, um, which ones do you use? And these were the only ones that were recommended to me. So these are Wallow, Wallow, Wallow. <laughs> and they come in this lovely storage box, which is actually quite uh, solid, which I was really impressed with. Um, so let me open it up and I'll show you what's inside. So I bought these off of Amazon. Um, they do come with earbuds, which I thought was quite funny, but they are quite noisy, but they're not that noisy um, for me. So you've got the actual electric scissors here with a blade, and then you've got a spare blade. You've got your battery charger, your plug for your battery charger. Then you've got a spare battery, and there's one battery in the scissors themselves. So that's really handy for me. I can have a battery that's charged and spare and then one in the scissors as well. So you can always rotate. So if you're halfway through a project and your battery dies, um, you're, you're not going to have to stop the project and wait for them to recharge or use manual scissors. You can literally just switch the battery in them. And that was one of the things that made me buy those ones um, was the fact that it's got that switchable battery because um, I know that I'll find that really useful. Um, so the first project that I used them on, and actually the only project that I've used them on so far, was this one. So it was really straightforward. It was literally just cutting a couple of rectangles out of some scraps of fabric. But wow, they were so good. 
so so good and as I said I put them I put on Instagram are they a bit of a gimmick are they worth it I can't remember exactly what I paid for them because it was a few months ago now but I just haven't used them because I've been not sewing as much and just doing my sister's curtains that I cut out way before I bought the um scissors but yeah they are absolutely fantastic they just went straight through the fabric with no effort whatsoever I mean that is sort of cotton and a poly cotton um but yeah it was really no effort whatsoever um I in all honesty I did try to cut the wadding with them but wouldn't recommend that just because the wadding is quite thick um, I think it's easier to get a blade of scissors that you can open quite wide to make sure you're capturing all of the wadding inside. Um, they cut through it, no problem, but it was just, yeah, just the fact that the wadding was a bit, because it's quite fluffy, isn't it? The scissors, yeah, I'm sure you'll know what I mean, but because the wadding is quite fluffy, the scissors are only sort of small, so they weren't capturing all of it, and obviously I didn't want to be feeding it through with bare fingers you know with electric scissors um but yeah so far so good really worth their money really glad that I've invested in those um and I would highly recommend them I will put the link to them down in the description box as well so that you can have a look at them um as I say they were from Amazon I purchased them myself um and they were recommended um by somebody or a couple of people I think actually off of Instagram and they were the only brand that came up um as recommended and I totally agree um, but yeah, so next project is finish altering my sister's curtains because then that's done and I can get them out of the way. Um, then it'll be popping some ribbon onto the sides of my sewing machine cover so that that's finished. Um, but I can already use it as a mat, so that's great. Then it'll be overlocker cover with some arrangement of scrap fabric. Um, I'm not too bothered about the aesthetic of it. Um, I just want it to be practical um, and actually I want it to just use up my scraps of fabric so I'm quite happy if it's a complete mishmash of colours and prints and that sort of thing. I just want to use my scraps for a project. Um, yeah and then it will be my yoga bag with some storage um, and then I am also doing a cross stitch for somebody as a gift um, so that's sort of my evening entertainment whilst I'm sat downstairs watching TV um because it's quiet and it's quite mindful um but I'm not going to discuss it too much on here at the moment because I think they watch my YouTube videos um but yeah th I will show you that once it's done but I think it's going to take a little while um to get that finished because I am quite slow at cross stitch but I think that's the point of cross stitch isn't it you don't sort of rush through you just take your time um and yeah as I say it's quite mindful um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that little catch up. I feel totally rusty on um, these sort of videos, like my plans and what I've been sewing, so I haven't done any in so long. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed the little catch up and where I'm at with my sewing. And I'm definitely ready now to crack on with all of my sewing again. Um, as you would have seen if you watched my video last week, um, my marathon is done and it's out of the way. So I have way more free time um this last week has been an absolute dream um to have not needed to run all the time and just to have some spare time so yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you've got any comments or any questions pop them down in the comment section below otherwise i hope you've enjoyed um don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye